Empower. Good morning. morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. We are so glad to see everyone in the sanctuary today. Feel free to worship with us. Feel free to clap your hands. Feel free to run around to dance. You are you have liberty here. Hallelujah. You are free to worship in the way that you feel free to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And those of you who are watching. Come on, can we clap for our live stream family? Yes, Welcome, yes, live yes. stream, hallelujah. And we're celebrating family and friends today, hallelujah. Come on, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're catching the recap, we are so glad that you are here. Now, come on, feel free to clap those hands and worship, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Here we go. Bless the Lord.
for me. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Come on, you'll catch it in a minute. Jesus. 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 Bless him, mother. Jesus. Say Jesus. Call him. Jesus. 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 Let's go. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Come on, shout into the Lord. Come on, I said shout into the Lord in this place. Come on, you want to show a sign? Wave your hand or something. Tell the Lord, thank you for keeping me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for waking me.
with victory. I Be 
But this morning, I would like to also go ahead and give a big, huge hand of applause to our lovely leaders, Bishop and Pastor Carnegie this morning. Thank you all so much for everything that you do for us, whether we know it or not. <laughs> and at this time, I would also like to turn over the service to Pastor, yes, for a tithe and offering this morning. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody bless him this morning. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the land of the living, isn't it? Amen. Do you realize it could have been the other way? That's why I say praise the Lord. Because it's just good to be here. Amen. I can say I was glad when they said unto me, come let us go into the house of the Lord. That gave me one more chance just to tell him thank you. Hallelujah. I thank God each and every day for my life, my health, and my strength. But it's nothing like coming into the house of the Lord where I can just. Hallelujah. Anybody right there with me? Yes, God. Y'all happy with me today? Ain't nobody happy with me today? Hallelujah. visitors up front. My people know that I'm apt to lose it in a minute, so I'm just going to apologize to y'all. I do act crazy sometimes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apologize. If I just act crazy, y'all just look over me for a few seconds and I'll be back to myself, okay? Amen. And I act crazy because God is good to me. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, the loopholes he's taking me out of. All the enemies are taking me. Think about how good God is to me. Y'all just might have to look over me. He is good. And he's good all the time. Even when I don't deserve it, he's still good. He opens doors for me and makes ways out of no way. Hallelujah. So I'm apt to lose it at any time. I'm going to behave. Hallelujah. God is just good. And he's good right by himself. Hallelujah. I'm going to calm myself down. Hallelujah. But I got the glad glass on the inside this morning. Anybody happy besides me? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm up here to do the offering, tithes and offerings. That's what I'm up here to do. That's what we're going to get a busy about doing. I know we got a long day. Again, I welcome all of our visitors here on today. But again, I'm wanting y'all to excuse me because I might have to act up any time. Hallelujah. Our tithers are coming this morning. I can act crazy over tithes. You know why? Hallelujah. Our tithers are coming. Y'all don't be slow this morning. Y'all ought to be running up here to give. Because the Lord blessed you. And you ought to be glad to give back to him that which he has blessed you with. And I know some of y'all have already paid electronically. Thank God for that. But we do have tithes this morning from Sister Linda Hopkins. We have tithes from Deacon Carnegie on this morning. Anybody else that uh, sent in their tithes in advance? Forgive me if I forgot your name. Hallelujah. Anybody glad but me? Hallelujah. I'm trying my best to hold it together. Hallelujah. Everybody else, get your offering in your hand and stand to your feet. We're going to pray and we're going to take up the offering. Our tithes, we're going to, and our deacons are going to come and collect our offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we come, God, thanking you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and your favor. God, we thank you for this, another opportunity to give back to you that which you have blessed us with. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, you'll bless every giver this morning. God, in Jesus' name, I pray, God, that you would not allow them to lack for any good thing. God, bless them abundantly, God. Restore all that the canker worms have eaten up. And God, I pray you'll close the mouth of the devourer in the name of Jesus, that the supply will flow flow freely in the life of the giver in this in jesus name i pray god i thank you that we are good stewards god you have made us good stewards to take care of that you have blessed us with thank you lord restore 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 and it is in jesus name we pray amen our tithers are coming come around and we'll go section by section. And this jar over here is for the kids ministry. So if you feel free, put your loose change, put dollars, whatever you want to put in, in it also.
to God. Let's give God glory and let's give us thank yes. him for we have won again. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to bless the Lord. We're going to bless him. 
Glory to God. I just want to welcome you to, uh, to join in with us as we begin to give God glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. And feel free to stand to your feet. Feel free to come out the aisle. Y'all know me. I like to have a little bit of fun. Amen. We're going to have some fun right now. Okay. Glory to God. Come on. Let's put those hands together. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to God. Come on. Uh, uh, hey.
the presence of the Lord that is in this place Amen. on today and we give God glory and honor and we just thank him for another year as we celebrate family and friends today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor God for all of you today. Such a beautiful turnout and we're so glad that you have joined us here at Love, Faith, and Power Christian Ministries. We are glad to have all of you, those that are watching by way of Facebook, Pastor. Amen. My heart is just bubbling over. Amen. Amen. It's good to see everybody. Everybody. Today. Amen. Some faces we haven't seen in a while. Amen. Good to see you. God bless you. We are excited that you decided to join us today. Hallelujah. God is just good. Yes. I can't yes. get off of that, Bishop. God is just good. <laughs> He's awesome. He's awesome. He is. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is Praise good. God. We are just excited. Amen. Um, to have all of you here today. Amen. Thank you for accepting the invitation. Amen. If you were invited by um, one of our members here or you have some family, who go here and you took time away from your church or your busy schedule to come, we don't take that for granted. Amen. Praise Amen. God. We would never take that for granted. Amen. Will you clap for our awesome praise team and our yes, band? Yes, praise yes. God who does such a wonderful job every week, every Sunday. Amen. We honor God for them and we thank God for them. We thank God for the dancers sisters amen. praise god we're amen. dancing amen and they were all excited about dancing today and we always enjoy them when um they come and um dance for us amen and we thank god for um them on today amen well, we're going to get right into the word on this morning Woo. amen we just going to dive right in. Bishop, you ready? Amen. Amen. Now, y'all see, Pastor, she messing with my hand towel. Amen. We, we, we have problems when we get up here together. Amen. We're we going to work it out. I have to get us straightened out. Leave my hand towel alone. Amen. I, I have to get her straightened out because she be messing with my stuff. See, I didn't even bring no notes. I didn't bring no notes because she take up the whole thing. Amen. She takes it all up, so I didn't even bring my book. See, I downsized today just so you have some room. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless Amen. The Lord. Well, we're going to share. We want to share with you today. And don't forget that we, we have dinner. Amen. And we want you to make sure you get uh, a, a plate before you go. 
Um, they're going to put it into go plates. And um, if you can't find a table, I know you're going to enjoy it. We have some of the best cooks around. Amen. 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 Our kitchen committee Amen. is great, and they are great cooks. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a witness, and you probably look at me and tell I eat at their table. <laughs> Amen. But but you don't want to miss dinner. So make sure um, you grab a dinner and, and take with you um, on today. Amen. Praise the Lord. So th this morning we're going to be talking about seven things that challenge the unity of the family. Ooh, Since this is our family and friends day, we wanted to talk about a topics uh, that challenge the family unity. Is that all right? Amen. So we are going to start with our base scripture this morning. Uh, everybody look at your family. If you got family in here, tell them thank you for joining me in worship today. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't nothing like worshiping with your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. We're going to start with our base topic. Where is Elder Branch? Elder Branch is our reader for us on this morning. We're in the book of Genesis. It's going to be our base scripture, Genesis, the second chapter, starting at the 21st verse, going down to the 25th verse. And it reads, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. she, she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh mm. and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed mm -hmm. all right amen and uh, there now right there um the family is created mm -hmm. the family is set forth in the earth and blessed by god Amen. All of us, every one of us, come from a family. Mm -hmm. Amen. None of us got dropped off here. The stock didn't bring you. Amen. Um, um, you know, you didn't just get dropped off by some aliens, spaceship. We came from a family. Mm -hmm. And God created the first family. Amen. Amen. God created the first family. Mm -hmm. he, he, had, he created Adam, and then he put Adam to sleep, and from Adam's rib, he took a part and made woman, and they became the first family. Amen. And you know, Bishop, you know, we sometimes complain about the family that we're in. We complain about uh, our sisters, our brothers. We even get mad at our moms and dads sometimes. I stayed mad with my mom and dad a lot when I was growing up. But, you know, the, the family that we're in was chosen for us. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a choice to, but to be in that family. So we might as well make the best of it, hadn't we? Amen. 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 Ain't no need you being mad at Uncle Joe. Ain't no need you being mad at Aunt Sally. Ain't no need you be mad at your brother or your sister or your mom and the dad. You stuck with them. Amen. You family, stuck. Family is family for life. Family for life. Family for life. Mm -hmm. You can change your name, but you really can't change your family. Amen. 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 That's your family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. If anybody, you know, you, you ever thought, you know, with all kind of chaos going on in the family, you thought, I must have got mixed up at the hospital. Mm-hmm. They gave me to the wrong woman, and I ended up in this crazy family. Mm -hmm. No, that's your family. That's your family. Uh -huh. That's your family. That's my family. Amen. We all got some craziness that went on in our family. Amen. Amen. Oh, my. Some of us got more than others, <laughs> but we got some craziness that Amen. goes on in our families. Amen. It just, it just happens. It just happens. It just Amen. Happens. We didn't choose them. 
God placed us where he wanted us to be. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, you're in the right family. Amen. Amen. And you have to remember, because you're where God placed you, everything's going to work out for your good. Amen? Amen. Glory. All right. So Amen. we're going to talk about seven things that challenge the unity of the family. Yes. You yes. know, uh, the enemy desires for us to be at odds at each other, even within our families. So we have to know the pitfalls that the enemy sets for us so that we won't get caught out of unity with our family members. Amen. So the first thing we're going to talk about is jealousy or sibling rivalry. Amen. We're going to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, and we're reading the 4th through the 6th verse in the New Living Translation. First Corinthians 13, 4 through 6, the New Living Translation. See, this is what you call family not listening back here. Elder Branch doing too much. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Love is patient and kind. Yes. Love is not jealous uh -huh. or boastful uh -huh. or proud. Uh huh. Say or that again. Love is not jealous. Not jealous. Not jealous. Or boastful. Or boastful. Or proud. Or proud. Or rude. Or rude. It does not demand its own way. Does not demand its own way, Bishop. Can't I just have my way sometime? <laughs> yeah, <I'm old. laughs> Love does not do that. Uh -huh. Amen. Listen, and, 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 and we talk about jealousy within the family. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, and, and the Bible has a, there's several, um, situations in the Bible where there is sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. You know, Jacob and Esau. Right. Um, you know, and, 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 and others. Um, Cain and Abel mm -hmm. had problems. And, you know, brothers and sisters, um, um, Leah and Rachel and um, all of that. Um, so this goes all the way back to the early days of, of the history of man. Amen. You know, Amen. that there had been families that were tore up because of jealousy. Mm. Amen. Brothers that couldn't get along. Mm -hmm. Sisters that could not get along. The Bible says a house that is divided against itself mm -hmm. will not stand. Will not stand. Amen. It Amen. won't be strong. Mm -hmm. It will weaken the house when there's jealousy in the house. Mm -hmm. Hello. Amen. You know, it, it's bad enough that we see jealousy among other people, but mm -hmm. what is in your own house, All right. that's something. Mm -hmm. When you find jealousy in your own house causing confusion, causing separation, causing division, your house can't stand. can't stand. And you want your families to stay together. You want your families to thrive and to grow. Don't get jealous because one of your sisters got a higher promotion than you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and unfortunately, Pastor, uh, many times um, we, we, we're talking about it from the um, sense of it being sibling. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the jealousy is between mama and daddy. That's right. Amen. Amen. Sometimes the jealousy begins with mama and daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Daddy can be jealous over something, um, over mama making more money. Uh huh. Or mama can be jealous about a position that daddy got at work. Mm hmm. Amen. And if Amen. it starts there, it gets passed down to the children. That's right. Amen. 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 So, so we ought to want what is best for those in our house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We can't be fighting over little things and be jealous of one another. Mm -hmm. And then the children will pick up on that and they'll start being jealous That's of one right. another. Amen. Amen. So we have to get rid of that. It tears up unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Everybody in the house, you will have no unity. And unity is simply defined by togetherness. That's right. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Unity is defined by the word togetherness. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Amen. 
Now, now we go places together because I'm at a place in my life where I don't drive anymore, anything like that. But when, even when we had two cars, you very seldom found us in two cars. That's right. We went where we went together. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. 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 You ain't got to put a parking spot out in the um, parking lot, one for me and one for Pastor. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Mm -hmm. And we coming from the same house. Amen. Y'all ain't got Amen. to talk. Amen. I'll meet you at Walmart. Uh -huh. Why you got to meet me there? Who oh, glory. Why well, we can't, can't get around together. together? That's right. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm in somebody, somebody's. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop has like a habit of getting on slippery slopes <laughs> all by himself. But <laughs> togetherness, there's no need to be jealous in your own house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whatever Bishop has belongs to me. Thank you. Whatever I have belongs to Bishop. Thank you. We put Amen. stuff in the refrigerator. Anybody in the house can get it. Hello. We're not going to fuss over somebody drinking the last Pepsi. Hello. Glory. We're in the same house. Time. I want the best for you. You ought to want the best for me. Amen. If we're in the same family, we ought to be pushing each other as hard as we can push to get each other up the hill. Glory. Amen. Let me tell you, I used to, before I uh, was called into the ministry, I went with Bishop everywhere he went. Mm -hmm. I did, because I wanted to push him. Amen. I wanted him to get to his highest potential in God. So I felt like it was my job as his wife to push him to wherever he wanted to go. I ironed his clothes, got his suits out, Come on. got everything pressed and ready, packed his briefcase, Got his hand towel, put his oil in his bag, his Bible. The only thing he had to do was put his clothes on and go out the Come door. Come on, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there was a spirit of togetherness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If you, listen, we got married to be together. That's right. Oh, I wonder if anybody get that. We didn't get married to be separated. Amen. If we want to be separated, we'd have stayed unmarried. Mm hmm we got married to be together. Amen. Amen. I don't understand it when, when, when men get married and then say, I got to go hang out with the boys. Mm -hmm. Well, I hung out with the boys before I got married. Jesus. Amen. I got married because I wanted to hang out with a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hello. Bishop on the slippery slope. Well, well, this I'm morning. trying to do right. I'm trying to do right. But si jealousy and sibling rivalry has no place within the family. Amen. Amen. You ready to go on to go uh, on. number two? Yes. Is lack of communication. Ooh, glory. Proverbs 18 and 13 says. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 18 and 13. To answer before listening, mm. that is folly and shame. Mm. My, 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 my. I'm going to start this with Bishop. Go. I used to get on Bishop all the time. I said, Bishop, look, you answering me before I can finish what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it used to make me mad that he would answer me before I could finish what I'm saying. But most of the time, he was answering me correctly. Mm. But, it, you know, you can't answer effectively if you're not listening Absolutely. To what the other person is saying. Absolutely. And in the family, we have a bad habit of doing that. Mm -hmm. We have a bad habit of answering before the, the person is finished talking. The grandchildren will run into the kitchen sometime and start saying, me, ma, me, ma. And I'll say, wait a minute before I even find out what they want. They might be about to tell you the house on fire. They might be. They might be coming in to warn me about something. But I'm telling them to stop or wait before they can finish what they're saying. And, that's so, and, and even though that they're children, we still have to listen to our children. They might have something important to say. You know, when I was growing up, and I know I got sisters in here, you know, we didn't, you know our parents didn't let us talk when grown folk was talking. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't talk when grown folks were talking. But now that, you know, these days, these children feel like they got a right to talk any time they want to. That's true, but, you know, they can, but they can't. You know, if when adults are talking, it is important to listen to your children, but teach them the respect of when to talk. Amen. Yes. If the child is coming in to tell you something, listen before you answer. 
Same with husband and wife. Amen. We can't have an effective conversation if we're not listening to each other. Amen? That's true. That's true. The best communicators are the best listeners. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because if we don't be a good listeners, we do not obtain and gain knowledge. That's right. That, that comes forth when we begin to communicate. Mm -hmm. See, I can tell you've been listening by what you start saying. Amen. 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 Because if you start saying something that, that, that you haven't been, in, and, and it's way off from what we've been saying, mm -hmm. that means you haven't been listening. You haven't been listening. Amen. You see. So great communicators are great listeners. Mm -hmm. And within the house, there has to be some listening. Some listening. Amen. Amen. Everybody's not going to get to have the last word. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Everybody it, it can't talk at the same time. Amen. Amen. Everybody cannot talk at the same time. If I'm talking, amen, then pastor has to listen. Mm -hmm. If she's talking, I need to be quiet and listen. Mm hmm Amen. I won't ever know what she's mad with me about if I don't listen. That's right. And I'd be I won't ever know what I've done wrong if I don't listen. Amen. If I'm just so busy trying to um, um, tell her that I didn't do it, mm -hmm. I'll never know why she know I did do it. Uh-huh. I always have evidence. Amen. I always have the evidence. <laughs> now, if I'm going to accuse you of something, I got evidence. Amen. 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 But, but haven't, haven't all of us heard that old saying about God gave us one mouth? Mm -hmm. And how many ears? Two. Gave us two ears. Why? To listen. So we can listen twice as much. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Listening is so important. That's how we learn. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why some of us failed in school. Mm. Not listening. Because we didn't listen. Mm -hmm. We didn't listen. The, the same questions that be on the test are things that the teacher just said. Amen. Amen. Ooh. She just went over it yesterday and give you the test the next day, and we be we were sitting there going, mm -hmm. but we didn't listen. Didn't listen. Hello. Amen. Read Ephesians four and twenty nine. Don't use foul or abusive language. Mm. Let everything you say be good and helpful. Amen. So that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Hello. Hello. Read that again. Don't use foul or abusive language. Foul or abusive language. Mm-hmm. Mm let everything you say be good and helpful. Good and helpful. Edifying. Mm -hmm. So that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. All right. Amen. Some of us, some of us got some bad habits of letting some foul words come out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Somebody sometimes say, well, I thought it. I had to say it. No, you didn't. If you think about it and you know that it's going to hurt, you don't have to say it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because I can't build my wife up if I'm busy turning her down. That's right. Amen. Amen. Word. Listen, I know that old song that, that, that we sung about words will never hurt me. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Words do hurt. Words do hurt. You That's can right. say words that destroy people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, you ain't got to beat them down with your fist. You can beat them down with your words. Mm -hmm. And they will feel like nothing. Amen. Simply because we use abusive language. Mm -hmm. Come on. Sometimes we got to think about what we're saying. Think before you speak. That's right. Amen. Oh, Lord, I Amen. wish I had that one 25 years ago. Amen. I used to work in the um, school system. And one thing we learned when talking to children is whatever you tell a child at, when they're at school age, they're going to remember that throughout their school years. Mm -hmm. So we had to do workshops on effective speaking to children. 
If you tell a child from in, when they're in kindergarten they can't do something, that's the only thing they're going to remember. So they're going to go through kindergarten through 12th grade thinking, I can't do it. You know how I know? I experienced it. Mm -hmm. You're going to go through kindergarten through 12th grade thinking, I can't do it because my teacher said that to me. So it is in the family. Parents, be careful what you communicate to your children. Hello. If you want your children to grow up and be great, start speaking greatness to them. All right. Give them things that will encourage them to do right, to be smart, to study, to grow up, to be productive citizens. If we're always telling them what they're doing wrong and never encourage them to do right, that's all they're going to remember. Mm -hmm. I can do wrong. It bothers me when I hear parents say, she just bad, or he just bad. <laughs> if you think your child bad, starts telling him to do good things. Speak good to him or to her so that that bad will be flipped. Oh, I can do good. Children are going to grow up thinking and acting the way what their parents instill into them. All right. So it is in couples, relationships. Amen. I'm going to let you take that one. All right, all right. It, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. Mm -hmm. if, if you want your husband to be the, the man of the house and the, um, the father um, that, that you want him to be and the husband, then you have to speak that into him. Amen, amen. Amen. Because if you're always telling him that he's coming up short and that he can't do this and mm -hmm. he can't do that mm -hmm. and he's doing this wrong and he's doing that wrong, he will be right there where you say he's at. Amen. 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 If you want a great husband, young lady, speak it over him. Yes, yes. Speak it to him. Mm -hmm. Tell him he's great. Mm -hmm. Tell him you're a good father. Tell him you're a good husband. Tell him you're a good provider. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you going out and working 45 hours a week yes, yes. and bringing money home and mm -hmm. keeping a roof over over our head. When you start speaking it and saying it, he will be it. Amen. Amen. But if in his house he's always getting put down mm. and trampled on and talked about and, 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 and negativity coming out all the time, honey, you will, you will keep him beat down and he'll never be the man yes, yes. that you want him to be. Amen. Amen. Ooh, got a little chilly doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And so it is with the wife. Husbands, you've got to keep her encouraged. Amen. Bishop used to tell me, I was cooking dinner one time, and he would say to me, you can't cook potato salad like my mama. Uh -huh. I said, I ain't your mama. <laughs> so I started, I, I says, well, how did your mama make potato salad? He wanted some potato salad like his mama's. <laughs> I said, well, how did your mama make potato salad? Now, I know I can make some good potato salad. Y'all ever tasted my potato salad? It's good, right? <laughs> Bishop said, well, she used to do this, and she used to do that, and she used to do this. So I made him some potato salad just like his mama's. So I could hush, hush him up. So when I made that potato salad, now he says, thank you, honey. Yeah, hallelujah. That was good. Hallelujah. Just that, like my mom. If I wanted a wife that cooked good, I had to, start, I had to change my way. Mm -hmm. Rather than telling her what she couldn't do, I needed to start telling her what she could do. Mm -hmm. And the more I told her she could, it got better and better. Amen. Hello. Amen. That's how you change the culture of your house. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how you change the culture. That's right. Of your house. You can get, brothers, you can get what you want to get. But sometimes you ain't getting it because you ain't talking right. You ain't talking right. Nobody going to help me in Amen. here. Amen. I, I Amen. know I got some men in here. Yes, you can yes. get what you want to get. Uh huh. But you got to learn how to talk right. You got to learn how you to talk. You got to learn how to ask for it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. Amen. You, you, you got to put some lotion on your hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Ain't no, well, well, I know we better move. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Amen. She'll be all that you want her to be. You ain't got to be out all night long riding and looking. Mm. God done gave you a wife. Jesus. Build her up Jesus. with your words. Yes, yes. Encourage her. Mm -hmm. 
you'll be running home from work. Amen. Glory. When that, when that, when that whistle blow at four o'clock, you'll be headed to your car. I'm headed home. I ain't stud no happy hour. <laughs> I'm gonna get happy when I. Yes, yes. Woo. Amen. Praise the Lord. You ready to move on? I, we about to move. We about to move because I feel the preacher about to come right, up with me. All right, all right. Woo, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The next one is selfishness. Woo, my. Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Mm -hmm. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Mm -hmm. ah, my, 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 my. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Amen. Amen. Don't look out for your own interests. You don't have to be selfish. In your own house. Mm -hmm. I look out for Bishop. Amen. And Bishop looks out for me. Thank you. If I go shopping, I'm going to come back home with something for him, even if it ain't nothing but a candy bar. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I can't be selfish in my own house because we all want to grow together. We all want to prosper. We all want to be in good health. But we do that together. I can't just want that for me. I got to want that for my whole house. Amen. Everybody in my house got to, got to stand up to the same standard. I can't look at myself higher than them and think I'm better than them. We're in the same house. We're in the same family. If I say I'm walking in greatness, they got to walk too. I can't walk in greatness by myself. That ain't no fun. All right. If I'm walking in greatness, my whole house going to have to walk with me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? That right, Bishop? That's right. Look, we were, um, now me and Pastor, we, we both retired. Mm -hmm. We, we go out to lunch during the week and just, you know, sit there and, and, and Google at each other and look in one another's eyes and all that kind of stuff. We, w we were at Ron's Barn just one day last week. We were over there having lunch. And uh, whenever we go through the line and get our lunch, we only get one thing of hush puppies. You know, we just get one thing. And so we'd be both eating out of that little bowl of hush puppies. Well, it got down to one. We eating chicken and greens and stuff. And there was one left. And I kept looking at it. And I knew I wanted it, but I thought she wanted it. So I wouldn't reach and get it. And she looked at me and said, you going to eat that last hush puppy? I said, no, you go ahead. And she said, no, you go ahead. And then we both reached for it at the same time. <laughs> See, when you're unselfish, you want the other one to have that last biscuit. Amen, amen. You want the other one to have that last Pepsi. Mm -hmm. No, you go, no, no, you, you, you go, you go, you go ahead, you go ahead. But then you get two glasses mm -hmm. and you pour a little bit in each glass. That's right, amen. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. When you become unselfish yes, yes. in your way, your house becomes stronger. Mm -hmm. Your relationship becomes stronger. Amen. You got to learn how to share. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. It don't do me a bit of good to have a pocket full of money and my wife broke. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Woo, I wish I could crawl under this thing. <laughs> it don't do me any good. To have a pocket full of money and my wife is broke, brother. That's right. Amen. Woo. Something wrong with that picture. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong with that. That selfishness. Yes, yes. Anybody hear me in here? Mm -hmm. And the very relationship that Jesus calls us into is a selfless. That's right. Amen. Not selfish. Amen. Give up yourself for the good of somebody yes, else. Yes, amen, amen. Oh, my. Why, do, why, do, why are you so stingy that you feel like you got to do this rather than do that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
You got to learn how to give something. Give something. Amen. Give of yourself, your time, your energy. Hello. You just can't lay on the couch and do nothing mm -hmm. and Amen. expect somebody to fix your dinner, bring your dinner. Mm -hmm. you, you're you going to want them to feed you your dinner. Jesus, Jesus. Whew. You're selfish. You're selfish. You're running a selfish house. Mm -hmm. What's in it for me? What, what can I get? What, what, what am I going to get today? And you never think about anybody else. That's right. What you can do to make her day great. Mm -hmm. What you can do to put a smile on her face. Yes, yes. Ooh. Amen. You put a smile on my face, you can get anything you Come want on, out somebody. of me. Amen. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, if you put a smile on my face, you can get anything you want out of me. Amen. Hello. Husbands, put a smile on your wife's face. Hey. And you can get anything you want out of your wife. A Hallelujah. There's a flower shop right down the street. Uh -huh. Ain't never seen your face. Mm -hmm. You ain't never bought your wife no flowers. You ain't never bought no candy. Y'all ain't got to like me. Hello. But if you want to get a strong house, you got to yes, become yes, unselfish. Yes. Amen. Oh, glory. Amen. But I ain't spending my last dollar. I ain't spending. If you don't spend it on your wife, you don't throw it away with some old. Jesus, Jesus. Selfishness, selfishness, selfishness. We got to get out of it. Get out of being selfish. Let me tell you how you can recognize if you're selfish. Uh, let me tell them this right quick, Pastor. Try hugging a rim at night. <laughs> you 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 spend all your money on the rims. Mm -hmm. Go out there and lay upside the rim on your car. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Woo, God. <laughs> but let me tell you how you can recognize if you're selfish. If all of your sentences start with I, or if all of your thinking is what I have to do. It's all about me, myself, and I. Then you're selfish. If, you, if your sentences never start with us, we. Go ahead, Bishop. You were about Amen. to say I something. I was telling one of them to bring me some water. Amen. But, but yeah, yeah that, that, that's it. Sometimes we got to take the I out. Take the I out. Take the I out. It, mm -hmm. It's got to be about we now. It's got to be about us. It's got to be, and, and if you got children, you can't sit there and eat and not give them something. Yes, yes. Amen. So, Amen. Hello. hello. You, you cannot bring food in the house and then you're going to sit there at the table and enjoy your Chinese. And the children run right. Can, can I have some, Daddy? Can I? No, get on out of here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Hello. They fruit loops gone. <laughs> they fruit loops gone. And you done went out and got a big old plate of Chinese. Mm -hmm. Now you think you're going to sit there and eat and they ain't going to say, can I have some? If you eat Chinese, they want Chinese. Amen. I wish I had some help in here. We have to get rid of get rid our of selfishness. Yes, get rid of it. Woo. Amen. Yeah, come Amen. on, come on. We better move. All right, I'm we're going mind. to dishonesty. I'm smelling dinner. Ephesians 4 and 25. <laughs> so stop telling lies. Uh, mm. Just stop right there. Just stop. Don't read no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't read no more of that. Oh, glory. If I tell my wife, I'm just going up the street. Come on. I'm going to run up here to the store. In the store, all of seven minutes from the house. Mm -hmm. Why is it 2.30 in the morning before I get back? Come on. Why, why, why did it take you four hours mm. to go seven minutes and seven minutes back? And it took you four hours. Hello, hello, hello. I, I, I'm just up there talking. The store closed. Mm 
Who are you talking to? Dishonesty. Dishonesty. Will tear up the unity mm -hmm. of your family. Amen. It, it, it's, it's bad when, when a husband, wife, or, 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 or children can't trust each other. Mm. My God. What, what kind of house is you going to have? Jesus, Jesus. If you can't trust mm -hmm. one another. Amen. If I can't trust you to go to the grocery store and back. We can't lie to one another. Amen. Amen. And then think we're going to have a strong relationship mm -hmm. with one another. It's going to put our relationship on shaky ground. That's right. Amen. If we don't learn how to trust and tell the truth to one another, mm -hmm. where will we be? Jesus. Ooh, glory. My God. You ain't holding that for your friend. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was just holding it for John. No, you ain't. You holding that for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I didn't say what you holding. Come on, Bishop. Dishonesty. Learn how to just tell the truth. Yeah. Put it all out there on the table, and get it all out. Just you tell the the truth. Truth. They said, say, you got to tell the truth even when it hurts. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Don't and admit you they, did they, it. They, they admit you messed up. Messed up. I messed up. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, but I messed up. Ain't nothing wrong with telling the Ooh. truth. Glory. Amen. The truth shall shut you free. All right. You want to fi find yourself all bind up? Start telling a whole bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. And then you can't remember what lie you done no. told or who. But you want yourself to be free? Start telling the truth. The truth. Ain't nothing wrong with free. telling the truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Truth. Truth. Mm -hmm. Then what? Let us tell our neighbors the truth. Mm hmm For we are all parts of the same body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell our neighbors the truth. We are all part of the same body. All right. We can't be in a church family and just tell lies to each other all the time. Ooh, glory. You glory. know how you uh, promise I'm going to be there to help? You know, we have outreach or whatever we're having at church, and mm -hmm. I'm coming, Pastor. I'll be right there. I'll be there before you get there. I show up two hours later. I still ain't seen you. Mm -hmm. If you're not coming, just tell me you're not coming. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't going to be mad at you. But tell the truth. When you don't tell the truth, then I can't trust you. Amen. You know you know how they say, Pastor, we got these smartphones now? Mm -hmm. The phone is so smart. The phone is so smart mm -hmm. that the phone know you ain't telling the truth. <laughs> The phone will text the sound. The ding is different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your ding is different when you ain't telling the truth. I know yes, that text. Is. Is, I know that text is mm -hmm. not the truth because mm -hmm. I know that that untruth ding. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory! But you didn't know you were buying a phone that would tell on you. <laughs> Your the, the ding ain't the same when you ain't telling the truth. Uh -huh. You got to give that smartphone the truth. This is why I won't be there today. Mm -hmm. See, when you done made up something, that, that, that thing don't even sound right. It don't even sound right. When, when it come out, come, in the, come in the room, when it thing, I go, oh, that one. Mm -hmm. It didn't even sound right. We text, you can text a lot as well as you tell a lot. Amen, amen. Uh, people think they ain't lying because they texting. Mm -hmm. You text a lot. Is still held to your accountability. That's right. Amen. You don't get out of it because you text it. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't tell it. I, it's a lie. That's right. It's a lie. Amen. And a half truth mm. is still not the truth. A half truth is a whole lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> a half truth is what Bishop says. It's a whole lie. Nah, nah, nah. Amen. You, f you leave out the pertinent details. Mm. You still lying. 
Come on. Amen. You leave out the important information, you still lying. Yeah. You leave out the part you don't want nobody to know about, you still lying. Mm -hmm. You can't tell a half truth and think it's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's still a lie. Amen. Ooh, glory. We're moving on to failure to honor and respect one another. Uh, yeah, yeah. First Peter three and seven. In the same way, you husbands must give honor to your wives. Mm -hmm. Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Mm -hmm. Treat her as you should so your prayers will not be hindered. Jesus, right. Jesus, Jesus. All right. Honor one another. Honor one if another. If you are married, and we've been, we've been talking mostly about married situations, but I also want to say um, if you are a single parent, you're, you're a family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay? Don't feel like you're not a family. Just if you are a single parent, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you're raising um, three lovely baby girls, or um, somebody get that, that's the Brady Bunch. Um, and three boys of his own. Um, if you are a single parent, you are a family. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're a family. Amen. Unfortunately, everything has not followed the model that God made. Amen. God made Adam and Eve, and they went off into um, the world together. But the model, amen, is broken because we live in a broken world. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if you have a spouse, you have to learn how to honor that spouse mm -hmm. and respect that spouse. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't get out in public and go to disrespecting your spouse. Yes, yes. Trying to embarrass them mm -hmm. in public. Mm -hmm. Come on, you're going to have a problem. Amen. Amen. We have to honor one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know my wife is weaker than I am because God made us different. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the Bible said we have to dwell with one another in understanding. That's right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I don't run her out of the room when I'm watching the football game. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I ain't got nothing against the man cave. Mm -hmm. It's all right. If you want to have a man cave, have your man cave. But I, I'm a cave man that like a cave girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Now, I ain't running my cave girl out just because the cowboys is playing. Mm -hmm. I wish I had some help in here. Amen. Amen. Now, when we first got married, my wife, I don't think she understood nothing about football. But she knew I liked it. Mm -hmm. And she didn't come telling me, oh, you can't watch that. Amen. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Don't go cutting. She didn't come cutting the TV off. I'm trying to talk to you. Uh-huh. That is not the time to talk to your husband when he's watching a football game. Thank you. Thank you. That is not time to bring up the pertinent subjects when the football game is on. That Hello. is not the time to bring out subjects that you think he ain't listening to so you can get your way because the football game is on. Hello. Come on. Yeah. You know, she didn't do that. She, she learned about football. She asked mm -hmm. me stuff about football. It, it was all right if they scored a touchdown and she hollered a home run. Mm -hmm. I said, you'll get it. You'll get it, baby. Hang on in here. You'll get it. <laughs> Amen. You gotta have understanding with understanding. them. Understanding. Come right. look, the football game ain't gonna last for about, about three hours, and it's gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Amen. The football game gonna go off, and then you gonna wanna be with her, and then mm -hmm. she gonna be cold and distant. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. So, so uh, you got a court at halftime, court a little bit at halftime. That's right. That's right. When the Hello. Dallas Cowboys are playing, I'm the Dallas Cowgirl. Amen. Thank God. Amen. So when the game go off, when we can have our own off. touchdown. I wish I had a witness in here. Amen. Hello. You got to have honor yes, and respect yes. and mm -hmm. understanding with mm -hmm. one another. Amen. Ooh, Amen. Glory. Amen. I, I have watched some Lifetime movies that I didn't want to watch. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't got to talk to me. That's right. But she wanted to watch it. Uh -huh. So I sat there and act like I'm watching it too. Mm -hmm. Woo, glory. Hello. Yeah, you, 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 
you gotta have that. respect. Respect. Honor, honor. one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in this life. That's right. Honor your spouse. Mm-hmm. Honor your wife. Mm-hmm. There's certain things around other folk I ain't gonna say about my wife. That's right. I don't, care, I don't care if I think it. I ain't gonna tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. Hello. I, you ain't gonna hear me say it because I respect her. Mm-hmm. I respect my wife. Amen. I Amen. Know somebody. You know, in relationships, we 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 women have a bad habit of telling our sister girls everything. Mm. There's some information your sister girl don't need to know don't about to know your that. husband. Amen. Your sister girl don't know what don't need to know what goes on in your bedroom with your husband. After a while, your sister girl going to be over at your house looking at your husband if you keep opening your mouth about what you and your husband do in your bedroom. You got to respect your husband, honor your husband, and talk about him with your girlfriends like you're supposed to. Uh, Amen. Even if you're having problems, you don't need to tell your sister girl all y'all business. Amen. Amen. Even if you're having misunderstandings, your sister girl don't need to know that. Girl, he ought to treat you like a queen. Girl, you know you ought to go on and leave. Yolo. I had them divorce papers in my hand in five seconds. <laughs> I didn't get married to get divorced. I got married to death do us part. Hello, hello. I meant that thing. When I stood before the preacher... To death do us part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And I realize things happen. Everybody don't stay together. But in this house, we decided we're going to stay together no Amen. matter what. Amen. And we learn how to do that by respecting and honoring one another. Yes, yes. If you learn that early on, then you'll, get, you, you'll miss some of the things that will easily tear you apart. Respect goes a long way. Honoring your mate goes a long way. Amen? Amen. It goes a long way. You don't have to dishonor your your mate to get your way. You know how we get into arguments and we start, you know, saying things we ought not to say? No, we can't take them back. But honor them and respect them, even in an argument. If I get to the point where I know I'm getting ready to say something I shouldn't say, guess what? And he'll say, you're not talking now? Mm Mm-mm, just leave me alone. Right. Because I'm trying to show respect. I'm trying to show honor to my spouse. And that's what you have to do. If you want to last in a marriage, in a relationship, you want your family to, to stay together, show some respect. Show some honor. And if by any chance you need counsel, mm-hmm. make sure you seek godly counsel. Godly counsel. If you ever need counsel, make sure you go and get godly counsel mm-hmm. and try your best to go together. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm, I ain't going to charge you for that. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to move on to number six, lack of financial stability. Read 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10. I love this verse. I love this verse. Even while we were with you, we gave you this command. Those unwilling to work will not eat, Mm. will not get to eat. Mm. (laughs) Well, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says. You, I, I grew up with this old saying. I grew up with this old saying. Amen. That that if you, that my, my mama used to tell us boys. We had a lot of boys in my family. She so said, boy, love will not pay the bills. Amen. Amen. That's what she tell us. She said, love, and love not going to pay the bills. Now, you, you can lay up there all you want to. But somebody got to go to work. Somebody got to work. If them lights going to stay on, if that cable going to stay on, if you're going to have that PlayStation 4, somebody got to go to work. Amen. Amen. Come on. And, 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 and to the brethren, 
it, it, it's our first duty. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's our first duty. If you got a family, it's, your, it's our first duty to work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. It's our first duty to work and be a provider. Mm -hmm. Anybody hearing me here? That's right. Amen. I, 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 I laugh now. I laugh now. I look, look around the, 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 all the young men driving the cars while the ladies are at work. I, first thing, when I came along dating, first thing a girl asked me, I, do you have a job? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you got a job, I'll give you a date. But if you ain't got no job, ain't no need of me dating you. Ain't no need to date. Mm -mm. Can't even buy a hot dog. <laughs> you can't take me to a movie. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need to go walking around with you in the mall. You ain't got no job. Mm -hmm. Hello. Nobody want to wonder shop all day in the mall. That's right. Amen. Let me able to buy me an ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? You got to have some income. That's right. Coming in. You, and listen, you, you can't just sit home all day and play the game. And then when she come home, you want her to cook and do everything. Jesus. If you're not going to work, at least you ought to clean up the house. Amen. Amen. Vacuum the floor. Watch mm -hmm. the dishes. Mm -hmm. Woo, my. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Told you get some lotion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you don't work, the Bible says you ought not eat. Ought not eat. Mm -hmm. Don't you come running in here to the table, mm -hmm. ready to sit down and, 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 and grub, and, and you ain't help bring nothing in the house. Nothing. Amen. Ooh, glory. Amen. Hello, somebody. We have to work and be providers. Hello. Oh, it, we, it, we, we're in bad shape when we got children that we don't provide for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Providers, working men. Ain't nothing like a hard working man, come ladies. On, come on. Man, Woo. men, you want to be sexy for your wives? Go to work. <laughs> Woo, Boyfriends, God. you want to be sexy for your girlfriends? Go to work. Go to work. Mm hmm. Yeah. Amen. You, you, you got to be able to provide. Provide, yes, yes. High, the same inflation everywhere now. Most houses need two income. Amen. Most Amen. of them do that. You know, somebody, you were making enough for both. That's fine. If you know, if one want to stay home and the other work and, and take away that child care, if you got a small child, you'd have to pay a lot for child care so one of them decide to stay home. That, if that works for your house, mm -hmm. that's good. Mm -hmm. But there ought to be some kind of agreement. That's right. Amen. So that the other one ain't sitting there rolling their eyes. When they come in, they rolling their eyes at you. Mm -hmm. Because you ain't helping. Jesus. Because mm -hmm. that will get old real quick. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm coming Amen. in from work and you've been sitting here all day doing nothing. Don't smell nothing in the crock pot, nothing in the oven. Nothing on the stove. Amen. Ooh. Amen. We're going you on to the last still one. still got on the same PJs. All right. You had on this morning, y'all. Ooh, God. And he took a shower. <laughs> Don't make me take my coat off up in here. <laughs> oh, glory. My God. Amen. Where we at, Pastor? Where we at? We're going on to submission. Submission. We're closing. We're closing. We're closing. With this one. E we're closing. E Ephesians 5, verse 21. Yeah. And further submit mm. to one another out of reverence for Christ. Mm. Amen. Submission has become a bad word, Bishop. Yes, it has. You yes, know, it has. We, we, we think submission means there's something wrong. Yeah. That yeah. we are less than if we submit. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says we ought to do it as if we were submitting unto God. That's right. Amen. It, it, it's not a bad thing to be submissive to your wife. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory. Um, 
We all went, well, I'm the man. I'm, 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 I'm running this house. I'm, I'm a... And most of us ain't running nothing. Ain't running nothing. Most of us ain't running nothing. Most of us do exactly what our wives want us to do. <laughs> if you ain't listening, your wife is three times smarter than you. Mm. She'll have you doing exactly what she wants you to do and thanking you in charge. Jesus. <laughs> Hello. She'll have you thinking you in charge of something. Uh -huh. You ain't in charge of nothing. You're doing exactly what your wife wants you to do. Who glory? Their minds are quicker than ours. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. So ain't no need you walk around with your little bird chest all puffed out. Talking about what you going to do. Jesus. What I'm on. What my word is. Hit the highway. My way or the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Submitting to one another. One another. The, problem, the reason that we have so much problem. Submitting to one another. It's first of all because we don't want to submit to God. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We don't want to submit to God. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we have a problem submitting to one another. Yes, yes. But when I submit my heart and my life to the things of God yes, and yes. the ways of God, mm -hmm. I will submit to my wife. That's right. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Amen. When I give my whole self yes. to the ways of God mm -hmm. and the power of God, yes. when I ain't ashamed to let my neck get behind my neck uh -huh. and my children and my wife see me praising yes, God Lord, yes, see me giving God glory mm -hmm. see me waving my hands yes. in the air see me saying hallelujah see me telling God thank you yes, for yes. my help hallelujah. and my strength see me giving God glory yes, with my feet yeah I wish I had a witness in the air. Somebody ought to raise your hand and tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Submit one to another. There's nothing wrong with being a submissive wife. And husbands, there's nothing right. wrong with submitting to your wife. Yeah, because God. if you do, you're pleasing God in the process. Woo. And that's what we want to do is please the Lord in all thy ways. Hallelujah. If you please God, he'll make your way easy. If you please God, he'll open those doors for you. If you please God, he'll make a way out of no way. If you please God, he'll make your enemies your footstool. If you please God, he'll increase you in all your ways. Hallelujah. Be submissive unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Do what he's called you to do. Go where he's telling you to go. Say what he's telling you to say. Submit your ways, your whole body, your whole circumstances. Wherever you go, be submissive. Tell God, yes, I'll go. Yes, I'll do. Yes, your I way, will. God. Your will, yes, God. Will. Yes, God. To your way. So yes, weird. God. To your will. Yes, Lord. And then... When you're submissive to your husband, oh God, I thank you. It all works together. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. God, I thank you. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing wrong with being submissive. Glory. That's not a bad word. Thank you, Jesus. I can tell you some bad words, but that ain't one of them. My God, my God. Submit thy ways Submit. unto the Lord. Submit. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Bishop. I didn't get no, happy. We, we, we're closing. We're closing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. These things, though, will break down the unity mm -hmm. of the family. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Is there anybody in here today that want to have a strong family? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. I want my family. Yes, yes, Oof. yes. To be strong. 
The Bible said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Of his might. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Daddy, mama, it starts with you. Yes, yes. And like I said before, if you're a father or mother that's raising children by yourself, mm -hmm. God has not forsaken you. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Being a single parent is not a curse. That's right. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. God wants to bless you and your family. Amen. Hey, as we come to a close of this family day, we want to open up the altar just for a few minutes. Maybe somebody want to come and bring your family mm -hmm. to the altar today. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. It's at the altar where we began. It's at the altar where we began to find the peace of God and the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's at that altar. Is there anybody today? My, my, my. Woo! Glory, glory, glory. God bless you. <laughs> anybody else? Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. God bless you. Mm. You know, I'm going to submit myself to God. To God bless me with a woman, bless me with a man that's ready to submit themselves to God or have already submitted themselves to God. Hallelujah. But I'm going to do it the right way. Oh, I'm not going to do it.